Um, so with, with that and everything that's going on, you know, um, life's been hard for a lot of people in the last little while, um, last couple of years. And, uh, the housing market has been hard for a lot of people. And, uh, you know, we knew that we know every time that it becomes a huge seller's market and prices start skyrocketing that the government comes in and starts trying to cool off the market, like calm it down, uh, correct it. And there is some news um, up front uh, that actually there was a great article that was just written by Erin Nicole. Uh, she has the same middle name as me. Uh, Davis is her last name. And uh, I wanted to kind of mention it because it's it, a lot of people may not know. It just came out actually on Remembrance Day. And the headline is, Will BC's new cooling off period really turn down the heat in its housing market? And uh, so I'm just going to go, let's chat about it. Uh, They've been trying to cool this market off for 30 years. It hasn't taken yet. I know. It's like a little bit here, and then it keeps on going. It keeps on fighting. It's like a fire you can never get out. I, as I've said before, I remember when I was in high school in uh, in the 90s, I can remember uh, our consumer ed teacher telling us that there's no way that housing prices can continue to go up in the lower mainland like they are because it's going to just drop, the bottom's going to drop out one day. And and, and in one day, houses are going to, we were lucky because we we're going to be in a, in a state where we could get houses really cheap because baby boomers are going to be selling en masse. And I'm like, yeah, that worked out real well. <laughs> and you know what? It, it can't ever. I mean, there's no place like our area, the greater Vancouver, lower mainland area, will always be the hot commodity it's either you'll be pushed out of it or if you get out of it you won't be able to get back into the market right but uh you know with the with the immigration when that starts coming back and when everything starts coming back we'll see more listings when the scare the the covid scare goes away we'll see more listings come on the market it'll naturally cool off at that moment and maybe that'll be next year it is so hard to say some people are a lot of people actually are the ones that are on the market are thinking if they haven't sold uh you know and you Usually anything the average price and under is going to multiple offers, but anything over the average price, unique properties, big acreages and such like that, and for development, those ones are saying, well, maybe I should just take off, you know, take it off the market for the winter and come back on in the spring. And you know what? We don't have a crystal ball, uh, but we can look at all the signs and we kind of know what's happening. And uh, this first segment, we're going to chat about this topic but it's not going to end. We're we have more to talk about on the second segment uh, about about some really interesting information that's actually changed from what the government said they were going to do. Oh, you know, and who knows if it happens? But we're going to talk about. It. So, yeah, um, in an attempt to cool the province's relentless hot real estate market, BC just announced the introduction of the cooling off period come spring 2022 for home purchases in are notoriously pricey province. So under the new law, home buyers will be able to back out of purchases of both resale properties and newly built homes and face few consequences. Okay, this is their idea. So uh, it's uh, similar to the current seven-day cooling-off period of pre-construction condo sales. You know, I think they do this with cars too, don't they, Curtis? Uh, something similar, yes. Yes, yeah, so I, you know, all pre-construction, you don't if if you don't have any subjects or conditions on it, subject to the buyer, you know, removing this condition by this date. Uh, you know, if you don't have any of that, you think, oh, it's a subject free offer, so it's firm right away, and you're putting a deposit down right away. But no, with all pre-construction um, builds, you always have that seven day cooling off period just in case you change your mind. But now they're wanting to implement it with all resale properties. So this is crazy. This is I never saw this coming. This is really interesting. Who knows if it'll happen, but this is what what they're trying. So according to a government issued press release, the BC Financial Services Authority is being asked to consult with key stakeholders and experts and review other potential consumer protection measures. This includes looking at the blind bidding system as well. Uh, that condition waiving in offers and other practices that may pose risk to consumers. So they think the blind bidding system is not good, it's not beneficial, and that should be looked at and changed as well. Uh, the move to introduce the cooling off period comes at a time when BC's robust and increasingly unattainable real estate market shows few signs of dialing back the drama to a meaningful degree. It also comes at a time of increasing concern that buyers, perhaps caught up in the frenzy of it all, could be sub- subsequently 
um, purchasing homes without everything they need to make fully informed decisions. That's not, are they? Yeah, they, that is what's happening. <laughs> uh, so, uh, quote, people looking to buy a home need to know they are protected as they make one of the biggest financial decisions of their lives, especially in periods of heightened activity in the housing market. It's crucial that we have effective measures in place so that people have the peace of mind that they've made the right choices. So this is what Selena Robinson said, Minister of Finance, in a statement. She continues, with this step, we are moving ahead to protect people and their interests in the real estate market by bringing in a cooling off period for home buyers and looking at additional measures to ensure effective safeguards are in place. Uh, cooling off periods will involve limited periods of time in which buyers can change their minds and cancel the purchase with no or diminished legal consequences. According to the release, BCSSA will consult with key industry state stakeholders and experts to help determine the uh, perimeters of the cooling off period for resale properties and newly built homes and will present advice to government in early 2022.